Welcome back to Houston Life, everyone. Joining us now are marriage and family therapist, Dr. Viviana Coles, and certified sex therapist, Emily de Ayala. And since Jennifer and I are deeply in love, oh, they're going to be giving us tips and tricks <laughs> on how to keep the love alive in our relationship. Yes. Thank yes. you, ladies. You're welcome. Okay, We're so ready. to set the mood with my work husband. It's a little bright in here, don't you think? It is a bit bright. What can we do about that? Oh, Ooh. Ooh. wow. Okay. <laughs> Are sunglasses so part of setting the mood? Because I forgot mine. Okay, so lighting may be part of it. I actually have this little light or two. So lighting is critical for There's setting the mood? There's something about candlelight. Um, it's actually related to your pupils. Um, the larger your pupils are, the more attracted people are to you. So if you've got dim lighting and little candles. Are you serious? Oh, I'm walking I'm around serious. with a candle from now on. All right. <laughs> the larger your pupils are, the more attractive you are to others. You draw people in. Wow. I never knew that. Neither I learned something new too. Well, I just like it because, you know, it keeps the light off my, because no one likes a bright light in their face. Yeah, it's that That's softer true. light. Yes. Yeah, nice little glow that goes on. So we had the nice lighting. Okay. So There's what some... else besides lighting? Derek, I could use some champagne. Some champagne. Ooh, who doesn't like champagne? Okay. Little wine, little adult beverage. Now, but why champagne? Because it well, seems like. Well, there's something kind of festive and bubbly about champagne or even wine. I think it's the, it's the sensual experience. <laughs> like, like, Here we go. <laughs> But well, for a couple of seconds, gauche, I'm going to back far so away. I'm not going to let it pop. I'm just going to let it. Listen to this. Ooh. Nice. He's done this before. Yes. Every night, baby. Very suave. <laughs> just kidding. Very no, suave. I'm not kidding at all. But you know what? I do think having a nice dinner together, and particularly cooking dinner together, because what it does is it starts building a sensual experience. So you're tuning into the flavors, into the aromatics, into the taste and flavors. And so I think that's really important. Now, don't go overboard, though, with the alcohol. While a little bit can help you to, to feel relaxed, Lots having so too good. much will have the opposite effect. So. Yeah, especially if your spouse is an angry drunk, right? That's not good. That's yeah. never good. Absolutely. Years. Okay. Maybe even feeding each other a little bit, that's always sensual too. I like I like the kind of starting with the cooking together, a little yeah. bit a little bit of the alcohol, and then of course flowers it just kind of makes everything so pretty. It's a nice touch. I do think adding something decorative helps draw the eye in. Is there and they anything good. I mean the flower smells good. Should I hold it in my teeth or you know, maybe taking it a little presenting it to your partner would be <laughs> really nice. Oh, and having go. her smell Smell it to really enjoy the aroma. Yeah. Is there something about scents though too? Absolutely. I mean, the more you can engage the senses prior to maybe a potential sexual experience, the better because it tunes you into your partner and it helps draw you into the moment as opposed to making it something that's goal oriented. What about music? Because it's feeling very quiet. I mean, the, the mall noise is very nice. Oh, uh, oh. on cue. Ask and you shall receive. Yes. Well, well, and I remember earlier in the week, Emily, you mm -hmm. said that like sex is like dancing. It is. Yeah. The I'm more in sync attention. you were. See, the more in sync you are with your partner partner, the better. Absolutely. And if you can kind of get something that's mood music versus maybe just your favorite picks, I think your bodies will start to kind of move well, a little and be in sync. Yeah. You might even end up breathing at the same time. Yeah, and that's Derek too. gives me a breath mint. Um, you guys, and earlier in the week, we talked about foods, aphrodisiac kind of foods, yeah. maybe some chocolate. So chocolate can really help to open the heart center. Um, again, the way it's released. Oh, thank you. Not that you need one. I just don't want to be rude. Continue. You on. Thank You're talking you. about chocolate. Yeah, so it can help. Oh, I actually keep chocolates in my office. I have a bowl of chocolate so that my clients will have one before coming in. It helps them to open up. Are you serious? I'm serious. You and give your clients chocolates before a therapy session. She won't give it to them, but, but there it's there is there an option. If they and research shows that receiving an unexpected gift helps curiosity. Yeah. It helps really? curiosity. Yeah. See, what, one thing I love, I mean, like everything you guys are talking about, this is very simple and easy to do and not super time consuming. It, it really, really is. Isn't. And it makes any small occasion like, hey, we're both home at the same time, turn it into something that you can celebrate and you can turn it into something a little bit more special. This is also, you guys have talked about scheduling romance yeah. time. This mm -hmm. is one of those things you could schedule in. Make well, it a date. And yeah. it's a simple act of kindness. I know earlier uh, this week, guys, if you've been watching the show, one of the days we talked about the five different love languages. Yeah. And just, I mean, for me, if someone were to create a a little meal like mm -hmm. this. It wouldn't matter if it were Valentine's Day or any night right. of the year. It's just that extra And effort. you know, and it doesn't even have to be flowers and champagne. I mean, one of my favorite dates my husband did was a surprise breakfast picnic. You know, you just throw your hair up in a ponytail, go grab a baguette and your favorite coffee, and we went to the Manil Park. It was perfect. Yeah. 
Now, it just sounds yeah. so heavily, but we got to go. Uh, what's in the box back there? What's in the box? <laughs> what's um, in the box? <laughs> so if all things go as planned and how we would like for them to, if you've set the mood. I could tell this is going to be the part where I'm going to blush. <laughs> I, like to, I like to encourage couples to be prepared. My so God. one of the things that you can have either hidden or depending on whether you have any little ones in the house or not, you can have them out in the open. We've got some wipes that would be safe for cleaning any regions of your body that might need some freshening up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm okay, guys. Although a lot of times, I want to remind women, a lot of times your natural smell is, is fine. There's absolutely. nothing wrong. Yes. Uh, and this can be both for men and women. Then we've got lubrication. It's always important. I don't care who you are, what time it is. You didn't you throw up on that sure. one. <laughs> and then some pocket spray for your breath. You missed my it's mouth, Liana. You sprayed me in the cheek. I think I got the cologne in your mouth. And yeah, the there we go. Actually, and feet. the cologne is a key part of it as well. Yeah, you have. making sure that you smell good, it just makes people feel a little bit more open to that sort of thing. Then the other thing is to have a little candle. Now, you can use this for two things. One is to mask any smells from the morning or the evening or whatever. But on top of that, it can be a quiet way to initiate that you're ready from your partner. Open up your little box, light your candle. Added bonus, <laughs> added bonus. If you use this long enough, you will end up getting aroused just at the smell. Of the candle? Really? What does it smell like? Oh, because of the link it forms in your brain. Yeah. So there's, oh. you know, it becomes like a Pavlovian response. That reminds me of the lit. ocean, not of. Mm -hmm. The sea of ocean, the waves, the tide coming in, tide Wait. going out. So if you were to stop dinner and say, hey, I'm going to go jump in the shower and freshen up, you two actually recommend against doing that. Well, it can kill the mood for some I mean, people. look, if you're straight out of the gym, that's one thing. But, you know, for other people, it's a lot of times just the way you are naturally is good enough. Yep. Okay, so but maybe the ideal scenario would be to take a shower, then make dinner together. Absolutely. So yes. you're a little bit fresher. So this prepared. can be ready for morning time. This is kind of a, just in case this, the mood strikes us and we don't feel as fresh as we'd like, or maybe we haven't brushed our teeth, it's ready to go. I think that's One a great idea. One last point, I think, especially for the guys, is to remember that foreplay and setting the mood starts at the end of the last sexual experience, okay? So the more you can do in that week to help take any pressure off your partner, the better. Another thing I learned this Another week. Another thing. This week, <laughs> we have learned so much from sex therapist Dr. Uh, Viviana Coles and sex therapist Emily de Ayala. First of all, we discussed what is love, right, on Monday. We also talked about the difference between love and lust. I have my notes here. Are men just nuts? You can read between the lines on that one. No. But we have chemical that differences between yeah. men and women. And also uh, roadblocks that we all face in relationships. Sure. Sometimes cheating, but... You both believe that we can get through anything, right? I think so. Can. And lastly, today, I setting say, the mood. I think this is my favorite, setting the this mood. This was fun. Great. You know what? Next Cheers time, though. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Cheers to both Cheers. of you. Thank you so Thanks much. for joining us. Thanks, guys. And uh, guys, that was fantastic. To keep up with our relationship experts, Emily de Ayala and Dr. Viviana Coles, you can visit TexasRelationshipTherapy.com and ReviveTherapy.com. You can also check out Emily and Dr. Coles on YouTube and Facebook. And again, we had so much fun this week, ladies. Come back and see us again soon. Yeah, Anytime. Thank yeah. you.